here, sitting on a mountaintop, looking serious. I'm going to do some double breathing with you guys today. And as I demonstrate this exercise, I'm just going to be talking about what I'm doing. This isn't meant to be followed along, but you can use this as a guide for your own practice. So I'm doing about 10 of these so-called double breaths. I inhale above and exhale below. This is our first principle at Bridge the Gap Yoga. I receive the inhale into the chest and I give the exhale with the lower abdomen. So watch my lower abdomen draw in towards the spine. There really is this uh, tightening effect, not a squeezing of the six pack, but a drawing in with the lower abdomen. And this is gonna facilitate what we call bandha. And so now I'm in a breath retention. This is a kumbhaka. And during Kumbhaka, I like to explore uh, the movement of energy inwardly. And so that's what Bandha and Mudra are for, is because they, they create a container for energy in the body. And after I have explored an exhale Kumbhaka, I'm going to breathe in slowly while still participating in the Bandhas and the Mudras that are created in my body. So my tongue is pressing the roof of my mouth. My eyes are focused upward towards my third eye. These are natural reflexes uh, in participation with the flow of energy. If they feel clunky at first, then don't worry about it. Eventually it comes very natural. You can see me making faces here, just feeling the energy moving and lifting my eyes upward. So my breath is held in at this point and I'm just I'm floating the inhale. I'm, I'm not forcing, I'm not straining, I'm not putting a clamp on the in-breath and I'm just allowing it to feel like it's floating upward still. And eventually I'll exhale and I'll just allow my body to respond to the exhale without collapsing. That's key. After a long kumbhaka, you don't want to or rush into the next breath cycle. You want to stay relaxed and spacious in the body. And then I just allow my breath to have a natural cycle here as I wait to prepare for the second round of double breathing. So I'll do one more round of 10. And here we go. So this double breath is a rapid inhale through the nose and a rapid exhale through the mouth, as you can see. Again, inhale above, inhale into the chest, and exhale below. Draw the lower abdomen towards the spine. Really try to facilitate an upward and downward movement of the energy. Upward on the inhale and downward on the exhale. And you can see that even in my face. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Traveling down, 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 down to the root. Chin drops to the chest. It's called Jalandhara Bandha. You can see my stomach is kind of drawing inward. Uddiyana Bandha and the root lock, which you cannot see, thankfully, is drawing in. And that's just a natural result of what the body needs to do in participation with a breath retention. And now I'm inhaling slowly. I'm allowing the in-breath to just kind of creep in. Like I'm threading the breath as if it's a, a thread through the eye of a needle into my spine as I travel up. Up, up, past the throat, past the upper palate. Now I'm making funny face again because the energy is just drawing upward, upward, upward to the third eye. And again, breath is floating here, just enjoying this. Allowing the breath to be soft, allowing the body to be soft. And really, I like the word participate. So just allow yourself to participate in the movement of energy here. And then we release the breath. And I like to sit for a few moments as I complete the breathing exercise. All right, yogis, there's your double breath. Breathe away. Thank you so much. Happy Sadhana.